Okie dokie artichoke because we are back playing Goldberg 25 minutes on the clock. Start the timer. Let's do this. Bottom of the first page, last line, two lines. We were doing this. Okay, that was pretty okay. I mean, it sounded fine, but um, mentally it felt a little bit shaky. So, um, how, how do we fix this? One hand at a time, you know, when, when something is not quite right, you don't know how to fix it, you either slow it down or you break it down or both. Slow it down and break it down. Break it down by removing your stronger hand. Okay, you see what I mean? Like, I barely made it there. So, slow it down. you've got to get all the notes down. They have to be really, really solid in your fingers, and then you can start adding the musicality to it. Although, to be honest, you should be injecting some musicality in it throughout the whole thing. Like, you know, cooks, they don't add flavor to the meat that they're baking after they finish baking it. Like, they put it 
in while they bake it so that the flavor can suffuse through. So you always want to be thinking musically, but um, your musicality can be hampered by, and you know, me lecturing just wasted a good 30 seconds, um, can be hampered by technical deficiencies. So you have to make sure that that part works well. We're just gonna, we're just gonna have to play this part really slowly and then do some patchwork. My myelin obviously has not really quite sunk in completely yet. All right, five minutes of G major scale and I've gotten kind of tired of doing the regular scale so we were doing some arpeggios. We finished doing, I mean not finished, but we thought that was okay. So, um, supposed to go but in order to trick or to, to train your brain not to be lazy and take those extra milliseconds we start from this instead of That's actually another 
way to do it. Instead of going because the, the double note gives my brain an extra few milliseconds to think about what it's going to do next. And we want to try to make it work faster. So. That's tricky. That's actually pretty tricky. Sonata, and now we're on the Largo Appassionato. Watch out, watch out. Okay, there we go. Ooh, this is the nice melody thing. Let's go. Uh...
part in there that I kind of really liked. What was it? That part right there, I think. Yeah. for two hours straight or you force yourself to practice for two hours straight your brain actually can't really focus for that long so a lot of the time you're just sitting around being bored and when you're bored you're gonna make up stuff and improvise and that's when you come up with lots of interesting things oh well you can win some you lose some all right that's it for today